Well, opening weekend, to avoid the crowds, we have come to this little pond in Sun Prairie. Now, I don't exactly know where this pond is, I just found it on a map, but I've heard of ancient monsters in this pond that will bite people's heads off. I could have been at any beautiful place on opening day weekend, but no, I chose to come here to this dirty little pond. So join me in this episode of Dangerous Fish of Wisconsin with very sharp teeth. Punishing dirty pond. Pretty sure there's some carp in here, so we're gonna toss some corn, then we're gonna toss our little lure. The pond's definitely more deeper over here than over there. But, so I'm hoping we get some uh, good carp here. Maybe we can get some fish of death and bass as well, because I've heard there's some really good fish in here. All right, we're gonna start off just with this uh, Rapala, well, not really Rapala, this hard plastic lure. Red, white, should show up pretty well in the water. Um, I do think there's decent fish in here, so hopefully we'll get one. I mean, I've seen a couple of fish jump, but those just might be carp. Carp might actually be more in the uh, shallow water, because carp a lot of times prefer shallow water instead of like deeper water. And I'm pretty sure the water's not that cold here anymore. It's been a couple of days of like warmth. So hopefully we can get a good fish. Just throw deeper in there probably. Hopefully some good fish will bite. I got one. It's a small one though. It's a small one. It is, what is that? Is that a bass? Uh, it's a small LMB. Man, these LMBs, they are, uh, if you look at the LMBs, their appetite is way bigger than their, their mouth. This thing's about, my lure's about half the length of the small bass. LMB. Small largemouth. First fish of the day. Hopefully I can get something better and uh, hopefully we can get another bass. All right, all right bass, see ya. And off it goes. That was a small first fish of the day, a largemouth, successfully released. Now let's hope to get a bigger fish. There's a lot of goose around here. Should be bullheads and I know they will bite corn, but I'm actually really surprised that I actually haven't gotten like a carp yet. I know there are carp in here, I've seen them jump, but maybe they're on the other side of the pond and not on this one. But there definitely should be more fish here though. Seems like a decent pond to get some fish. Finally got another fish on the Bobby Garland. The other one wasn't working. It's another tiny largemouth bass. Ah, oh, how come there aren't any more bigger LMBs? Just these tiny ones, look at that. Look at that tiny LMB. Need more big ones. Big ones are what I want. All right, fish, see ya. That's the second bass, but they're all tiny. Where are the big ones? And where are the big fish of death? I know there are fish of death in here, but where are they? At least the Bobby Garlands have worked after a couple of hours. I mean, I've caught like, I've been here for two hours and I've caught two dinky bass. That's no good. I need better fish, much, much better fish. Oh, I got another one on the Bobby Garland. It's doing some work. Oh, it's another tiny one. It's another tiny bass. There's so many of these tiny largemouths. I want a bigger largemouth, I really do. But it does not seem like fate will give me more. <sighs> bigger largemouths, tiny largemouth bass. Fortunately, I can't use these as bait because uh, I know a lot of viewers wouldn't like it. And also, they're kind of undersized. See ya, bass. I think I finally got a bite on one of my carp rods. Oh man, I've been waiting all day for this. Oh, that's a bite. That Oh man, that's a decent sized one actually. Not a huge one. This pond's full of them though, so. All right, maybe the fish are starting to bite now. Common carpage. Carp of the common order. Wish there were buffalo here. That's a decent sized one. It's not a big one. It's like a three, four pound. Nah, maybe like a four pounder. It's not going anywhere. Maybe like five. Decent size, a decent sized carpio. It's a, that's a decent sized carp. It's not going anywhere though, because I am in charge. <laughs> Anyways, it's a decent sized carp. First non dinky fish of the day. Still only five pounds or so. I wonder if there's any giants in here. Probably not. These ponds do have a lot of carp, 
but they're not giants. All right, nice carp. First non, well, first non dinky fish of the day, the common carp. Yes, about a five pound common carp. Not too bad. All right, nice carp. Now I'm going to try to catch even more fish. All right, Carpio. Too big for me to go home and cook and stuff. See ya. And it carps off. All right. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's see if we can get more in the pond. It's the first carp bite we've had in several hours. So maybe they'll start biting now. Maybe the fish is gonna start feeding now around dinner time. All right, I got one. The, the spoon came through at night. I think it's a fairly large one too. I'm pretty sure it's a deadly fish. So it just thumped it so hard. The spoon came through. So yeah, the other stuff wasn't, oh yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a pretty deadly fish. It's a deadly fish. I have to, and it's, I think it's a big one actually. I do not think this is a small deadly fish. I'm thinking it's a pretty big deadly fish. Just by like judging by how hard it's fighting. If it's a bass, it's a really big one. But I don't think it's a bass. Do not think it's a bass. Could be a PB. But I don't know if it is because my PB, well, oh no, it got away. Back from Shihan. That place is strange. It's supposed to have pike and that last big fish I lost could have been a pike. I think it was probably a carp I uh, foul hooked, um, but if it was a pike, it was definitely 35 plus because that fought much, much harder than like the 30 inches, 30 inches I've actually caught in the past. So that was a really big pike. If it was a pike, it did hit my golden spoon, which is usually a pike, but there's a lot of carp in there. So I might've just like snagged one and the way it was fighting kind of like felt like a carp because like pike usually don't fight like that, like darting everywhere. And then like pikes usually are not that strong, but if it was a pike, it was a massive pike. Also, that was a treble hook golden spoon. I've hooked many, many pike on the treble hook golden spoons. They do not come off. Whether it's if I snag something with the golden spoon, it comes off all the time. So my guess it was a carp, but I have seen big pike pulled out of there before. There are also bigger bass, but they just weren't hitting. There's actually quite a lot of bass in there. I caught most of them with a bobby garland um, and the like little baby shad thingy. But there's a lot of carp in there. They weren't hitting particularly well either. I only got the one today and maybe the stag the other one but there are a ton of carp in there. I think they were like, I don't know if they were pre-spawn or what, but I saw several jump and like whenever I walked around the pond, like there's a bunch of carp on the side. So probably a pretty good place to catch carp most of the year. They just weren't particularly hitting today. Today was like kind of a cooler day and a lot of wind. So maybe they just weren't hit, feeling like hitting. But that was a fun episode at Shihan Park. Hopefully we can get back to more successful catching. I'll probably catch bigger fish, but I just wanted to spend opening week like exploring new places and maybe giving those people who are local a newer place to fish and an idea of what's in the water. So uh, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you guys next time.